Let's get you in the loop on a new set of HD switchers from Blackmagic Design, the all SDI range called ATEM SDI. There's three new models to take a look at, the ATEM SDI, ATEM SDI Pro ISO, and ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. First up is the base model, the ATEM SDI, and this has four SDI inputs. All of those have standards converters on them, meaning you can mix and match different types of SDI signals. And since it's a HD switcher, it'll allow up to 1080p 60 signals. In addition to that, you have two SDI outputs and you can write whatever you want to those outputs. Strangely enough, there's no multi-view option on the base model, which is odd since it has those two SDI outputs. Maybe it's something they can add, or maybe they want to be in line with the original ATEM Mini, which had no multi-view output. In addition, this model has a USB-C port for use as a webcam into your computer, and you can use this for streaming via OBS or into something like Zoom so you can share it in a meeting. And you can think of this very much as the SDI version of the ATEM Mini, the original ATEM Mini. Still no headphone jack on this model. It looks like they're using the same enclosure as the old ATEM Mini, so it's not too surprising. Next up, we have the ATEM SDI Pro ISO. Now that is a bit of a mouthful, but it seems like the next step up, which allows for recording and streaming your production. It has the same four SDI inputs, which is great, and two SDI outputs, but it also allows you to record up to five channels of video. This means you can record the four SDI inputs coming in and then an additional fifth recording of the program mix that you're creating. From there, you can also send the program feed off to an RTMP destination, something like YouTube or Twitch. You can stream from the box itself. And you can think of this as an ATEM Mini Pro ISO, but with those two outputs and all SDI. It also includes the functionality to record a DaVinci Resolve ISO file, so you can always edit your show after the live production ends. And the last of these three models is the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. This is an eight SDI input and four SDI output switcher, which is a really nice upgrade from the previous ATEM Mini Extreme. I could have considered that for the studio here instead of getting this ATEM 2ME Constellation HD I got a few weeks ago, but I have that now. Maybe I'll just test out this new one. Much like the ATEM Mini Extreme ISO, it will record those eight SDI inputs and an additional program feed as well, so you can edit that later. All that recording is done by connecting a SSD up to the USB port on the back, and then you have that second USB port for use with something like Zoom. This model also has the super source function, which allows for complex layouts, perfect for live shows and panels and stuff like that. And a couple more things to note here. Interestingly, they dropped the mini word from the ATEM mini lineup. Not sure why, but maybe these names are getting really long. You'll also notice the Extreme model still has a Sting button on it, but I can't see any use of the word Sting on their website, so we'll see if that's enabled whenever it ships. And finally, of course, these are Blackmagic ATEMs, so they have all the great functions that I haven't mentioned yet, but you can find out those things in other videos on this channel about the ATEM and the ATEM Mini Extremes. At this point, we don't know much more about them. I've only been able to find some details. They've just been launched today, so we'll see in the coming weeks and months how they perform. Pricing has been listed on the Blackmagic site as well, so $345 for the ATEM SDI, $795 for the ATEM SDI Pro ISO, $1495 for the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. We're not entirely sure yet when these might ship and make it out to customers. I mean, some people are still waiting on their 4ME Constellation HDs, so uh, I have no idea on shipping just yet. I will try to get my hands on as many of these models when they do come out, so do stay subscribed on the channel here for that. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, consider yourself in the loop on the ATEM SDI range of switchers.